All right, back to the eye. Let's see what they've got for us. Over here. Wee. I have been thinking about it, but I still do not understand your reasoning. Does the phrase agree to disagree ring a bell? It was just a okay, scratch. I'll give it one more shot. All I'm saying is. Just a little scratch there. Howdy, friend. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. I. How did we not notice this before? This one has been in my list of possible artifact sites for a while, but the profile didn't quite match. Now that we've got more artifacts, the similarities are as clear as day. Point me at him. All right, let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can. But I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. Sure thing. No. Just need to follow your scanner to the real destination. Might be a boot's journey. But that's the explorer's lot sometimes. Uh, got it. And from there... Maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Go to Procyon 3. Sure thing. Zoomies. What have we here? Ah. going? Is there anyone else that wants to fucking try me? Huh? Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I need to go into the big menu. Lovely 
arguably... That's probably jobs are good and right. Uh, this one. No way we would have been able to do that fight in our other ship. Not a chance. Not a chance. If you need to harvest any organic materials, open the hand scanner and look for distortions. Now would be the time. Sorting over that way as well. Not so much over there. I guess this way is probably the most distorted, but it's not exactly. I don't know, it's not exactly clear. Okay, that's a bit more distorted now. Okay, it's just all the way over there. this temple eater love to eat a temple what the fuck huh Very strong rumble in the controller right now. Oh, am I in zero G? I am in zero G. Those rings. Are they moving? Are they? Is this a is this a full version of the artifact? The artifact's been around like this, but this is like a complete, not broken up version, I think. What do I do with it? Do I just go this way? No, that's leaving. Is 
there anything I can actually do with this? What? Oh, hello, what's that? Am I just supposed to fly to these? Supposed to fly faster than that, I guess. A lot of lights on the inside now. Fail? Get in there as soon as I fucking see it. Okay. <laughs> what? What? Press equip, equip your new power? Select the area at the top to access your powers. What? Seven undiscovered temples. Anti-gravity field. Generate a localized field of intense low gravity and behold a planet's true power. What? Cost 45 power, total 60 power. What does that mean? <laughs> LB and RB to use right? your power. We need to get you back to the lodge. I'm pressing it. Oh! I mean, it's not giving me low gravity. I don't understand. <laughs> It said it generates a field of low gravity, but it's the exact same gravity. Eh? I was just falling back to the ground exactly the same as I am when it's not there. Weird. That seemed very anticlimactic. Like, big fucking portal thing opens up, and then for some reason I just walk into the middle of it. Like, that's not... Gonna, uh, this will be fine, I'll just walk into the middle of it. And then just suddenly, oh, you've got powers now. And your companion makes no comment apart from, wow, your powers are cool. Not like, let's maybe talk about what just happened or anything like that. That seemed pretty fucking badly handled. That seemed pretty badly handled to me. And then it, on top of all that, the power doesn't even seem to work. Low gravity except not really. Just kidding. I guess let's see what people here say about it. You know what I really love? It's that when you click specifically teleport to the lodge, they made a, 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 a special teleport point to go to the lodge, but it doesn't take you into the lodge, it takes you outside the lodge. So you have to go through another loading screen when they could have just put the teleport point inside the lodge. There is no reason to make you go through two loading screens. Hello. Crix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm going to start doing some scans. Like, right now. 
We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. Uh... It was a building like a temple. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir? Look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Sure. Everyone saw that, right? Like the literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. I don't, I really truly do not understand what the point of it. I, like, I just used an anti-gravity field and not a single person had their gravity affected. <laughs> like, what, what is it, what is it supposed to do? Because it ain't doing it. It was the temple. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power, all connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the yeah, scans. Yeah, said there's seven more. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Uh, you think there's one for each artifact? It's a strong theory. Couldn't find that planetary anomaly without the data from the artifact. We'll need one to find the other. Other planets might have anomalies? Could I just search for all of them? You'd still need to cross-reference the artifacts we have with the data from the eye to pinpoint the source. So you can't just find all the temples for the artifacts we already have? Not all at once. You'll need to take the home voyage after you found each one. Should hopefully have more potentials for you then. Okay, I'll follow up on another you found. Hopefully it's a temple. Don't think it's just fortunes left that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. Man! I feel like that was the perfect moment to have an actual, like, plot point. Like, we found a temple. But it was essentially the same as just finding an artifact. Except this one gave us a power but the power doesn't even seem to make sense but there's no it's still no it's just go to planet pick up thing this thing was slightly larger than the previous five things we picked up but it's still just go to planet pick up thing <laughs> oh i just want plot man i just want some actual story to occur not just please go here and pick up the thing and bring it back thank you now please go here and pick up the thing and bring it back thank you you know You know. You're not going to talk to me? I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. What are you up to? A business meeting, of a sort at least. You could just say you need my help. All right, fine. I need your help. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Uh, is it dangerous? I've already oh, been there. exceedingly. The free market there is in full effect. Anything goes as long as you have the money. We'll be taking advantage of that. I'm in. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. 
As long as the drinking comes after the negotiation, or whatever this is going to entail. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. Sure. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Is this an actual main quest to get this artifact? Yes. Then why not? Why not, eh? Yeah, I am uh I'm getting a bit jaded with this uh with this main story. Where there is no story in the main story. There's good characters. But no actual plot. I do admire what Bayou has built for himself here. Nah. Smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. He will get high off fish? Something to do with Kazimbas's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. Let's get going. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekblom offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Hi. Watch out, guys. I'm going to use my anti-grav powers. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it says specifically anti-gravity field. A localized field of intense low gravity. And then you do it. And you stand in it. And it's the exact same gravity. As when you're not stood in it. It doesn't make any sense. Bethesda failed. This is really strange. I don't know why <laughs> they wouldn't. I don't know. Is it just supposed to be like you're supposed to imagine it? Renix all in Working. a twist because his Something. robot got I don't vandalized. We had I don't a know. Laugh about it back in the station. Walter is very proud of his business, and he should be. His ships are very high quality. All right, I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you inside. Mr. Strong. You are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. You're Walter's wife? Co-CEO, heir to the Eklund fortune. And somewhere down there, I'm his wife, yes. Didn't know our marriage was such a low priority. Oh, it jumps up the list at the right moments. Uh, charmed. I envy you and your oh, partner's aren't success. You lovely. Walter, 
Wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Uh, what's this about a speech? Who was it again, Walter? The founder of Constellation? Sebastian Banks. His final address before he disappeared. You were a fan? I merely found a group of like-minded individuals. Just like all of us. I have not been part of Constellation as long as some, but from what I have seen, I would not call that an inaccurate description. Can we move on? Hang on, I gotta hear it. Who was it again, Walter? Sebastian Bang. I need to hear the speech. Second it. Ah, uh, yes. Walter does seem fond of this. I am not going to be forced into embarrassment in my own office. The answer is no. Boo. Talk to him about it later. Once he cools down, he'll be all ears. Uh, I'm 100% behind embarrassing Walter Moore. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Why are you two married? <laughs> Was this how you two work? Oh, just some light sparring, dear. Walter's actually very... attentive. When it's just the two of us. When you mix business and family, you learn to compartmentalize. I also send my love with freelance operatives. Oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now, I must point out the obvious. The Astral Lounge. Hmm? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. Uh, got it. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Wonderful. Wunderbar. and ready to sell. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Uh, Sieghart's? What's that? Sieghart's Outfitters? Oh, come on. You don't have to pretend you haven't been to his poor excuse for a store off of Bayou Plaza. Uh, who's Rosa? 
Rosa Newell is my wife. We own this place together. Sounds like you have a problem with Seacout's place. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Seagert himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon's security to keep his place safe. Uh, what kind of merchant meetings are you talking about? A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. How do you keep your place safe? By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Uh, keeping his place safe sounds like smart business. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagret makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Uh, what's the story with you and Rosa? I arrived in Neon almost, uh, what, 20 years ago? I had gotten a job at Xenofresh through a friend and started working on the loading docks. After a few years, they moved me up to Kazimbass Processing, and that's where I met Rosa for the first time. She was my supervisor, but we hit it off right away. It wasn't long before we decided to quit Sino Fresh, get married, and start our own business. We've been in love ever since. Is all of Neon Security corrupt? I'd say the majority of the guards are rotten, and the few who aren't simply take a paycheck and look the other way. They have Neon completely under their control. The Freestar Collective's own security doesn't even maintain a presence here. If it wasn't for the Freestar Rangers outpost, there wouldn't be a shred of justice in this entire city. Uh... I'll go talk with Seacott. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That'd be extremely helpful. I honestly don't know what to say. I'm not doing this for free. I'm a businessman. You help me with this? And I have no problem compensating you for your time. Just be careful when you're dealing with Seagert. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. Have you often tried speaking with Seagert yourself? The first time I brought up the subject, we got into a huge argument. Seagert said he had every intention of paying Neon security and that it was final. After that, I tried to speak to him a few times, but he's always been too busy to spend the time to sit down and have a decent conversation. It's obvious he has no intentions of talking to me anymore. I honestly don't know what I did to make him so angry with me. You set up a meeting with Walter Stroud recently. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Let's say you did. Information isn't usually free. You already got paid for connecting the seller to Walter. You're not getting paid. We're not paying twice. New intel, new transaction. Take it or leave it. Hmm. I don't think you really get it. Let me break it down for you. I see what you're saying. Don't worry. Don't duck my questions. I know the seller came through you. I connect. Bro, come on. Ooh. Can't track them all. I have multiple uh, levels of persuasion and you're keeping on Not failing the fucking greens? Any of this. Fucking shit system, Had a freelancer dude. trail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. God, I hate this fucking game. Stupid systems. Don't even bother with those. Fucking garbage. Love to put points into leveling a persuasion check and still fail the easiest checks all the time. Very cool. Good use of points, thank you. Ted Lastas has run into some trouble. Would 
to the vice. You don't want to be Loading screen after loading screen after loading screen after loading screen. What the fuck is going on here? Aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Is it illegal or not? Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Except the spaceport, of course. Uh, sure. Then what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Well, the, the price you've set is the price on the pleasure. <laughs> uh... Tell me about Administrator Bayou. Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon. I Making bet. sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't care about these questions. I have a meeting here later, worried about security. The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Where exactly would a secure meeting take place? Private meetings are usually held in the floor above. Just use the elevators. Uh, say I needed to control the doors. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state-of-the-art. Uh, if I needed security to, be, uh, security to be on my side? Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. That fee seems a little high. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Oh boy, can't wait to fail this again. Lower the fee, I'll be sure to stop by the Astral Lounge every chance I get. Oh, Lost it's a miracle. Leader. I make you pay less now, in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we could certainly offer a discount rate for you, if you were still interested. Sure. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Great. Enjoy the lounge. Pardon? Hi, having fun? Weirdo. Okay, I think this is where we'll uh, leave this part. <laughs> hey, you wanna dance? What a weird place. Are you following me? Fuck off. Uh, yeah, when we return, we'll continue on with this stuff on Neon and uh, see how the meeting goes, I guess. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Starfield. Thanks for watching. See you then.